What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be flying my Blade 230S uh, Smart V2. So this is the newer 230 model. Uh, today we're just gonna be practicing maneuvers, practicing uh, just slow uh, flying around. I have it throttled way down right now because <laughs> this thing is a lot harder to fly than my uh, Nano S3. So let's get a, uh, let's take off here. I'll show you guys what this helicopter is all about. Like I said, I do have it throttled way down right now. It's nowhere near like the full throttle. I do have it hovering pretty good. Uh, it does have a bad servo gear set right now, so it, it does make it a little bit harder to control right now. Let's hope I don't crash, but if I do, at least I'll have it on video. <laughs> I'm having it. Uh-oh. Oh! See how I lose control like that so easily with this thing? But that was not a, that wasn't a hard crash at least. All right, let's try this again. I'm telling you guys, this thing is like way harder to uh, control. It, I don't know why, but uh, I think because it has so much more power than my Nano S3, it just makes it like twice as hard to fly this thing. And I like the turning, the turning and everything makes it way harder too. I gotta uh, adjust the trim a little bit here. My swatch, that's another thing. My swatch plate, uh, there's something going on with it and it's a little bit loose. So I gotta mess with the trim here to level it out. It looks pretty good there. Let's take off again. This time, no crashing. Let's take it slow. Uh, something's weird. Something's weird with this helicopter, with me crashing it, and then the guy I bought it from. I did buy this used, so it was a uh, a lot cheaper than buying a brand new one. But something's just weird with this helicopter. See, I gotta adjust the trim because it's wanting to turn to the right right now. Other than that, it seems to be flying pretty good. Oh my gosh, it's just, it makes me so nervous. That's what I'm telling you, I, I have to take it slow. This thing can go way faster than what I'm flying it right now. It's just so hard to turn and control this thing. So right now I'm just gonna practice basically going back and forth like, okay, what's it doing now? Okay, that was weird. I do have it in the stability mode. I'm gonna basically just be practicing like going in circles, you know? Try to get more control of the seat. I'm not sure what's going on there. Why it like wants to go backwards like that. It must be something with my throttle uh, and pitch curve settings here. Oh, see what's it doing? Why does it do that? I'm not sure why it's doing that. Oh man, this thing is so crazy though. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. It's like when I, uh, Stop giving it throttle or something. It's wanting to do that. Like I said, it does. It does have a bad uh, servo like gear set right now. Oh my god, it's just flying all over the place. <laughs> all right, let's get it back to hovering. All right, it actually. I mean, it hovers pretty good. Trying to get it to stay still right now, but it's wanting to go forward. I gotta adjust the trim. All right, I have my trim. At... All right, there it is. Let's bring it down a little bit. It makes me a little nervous when it's so high in the air. <laughs> my biggest thing is I just really don't want to crash this thing, guys. So I'm really just trying to take it slow. Look how fast it is, though. Like, I thought the nano head power. This thing I have throttled way down and it's, it's crazy. I don't know why it's doing that weird thing where it's like pitching all the way up when I like stop moving. Oh, this thing's just so hard to control. <clears throat> uh, well, I mean, this is way better than what I've usually been doing. Okay, yeah, it's actually, that's actually a pretty good hover right there. 
and this the swash plate like i said is like loose i don't know why it's doing that i'm gonna figure out what the heck's going on there the swash plate's a little bit loose it's got a lot of play uh, along with the like the connecting arms i'm gonna have to buy some new ones i do want to get a the micro heli aluminum swash plate swash plate i do have to install that one on my nano s2 still too Like I said, I'm taking it slow right now. Eventually, I'm gonna start getting into some uh, some flips, but I obviously have to get better at flying this thing. This is actually my first time flying it in the field, which is really nice. I'm usually practicing in my backyard, not really doing much, but uh, it looks like I'm about to run out of battery already, but let's just fly it low to the ground for now. Cause if you don't if you don't fly it low, it kind of just drops to the ground when it's out of battery. And since I do have a throttle down a lot, the battery does last a lot longer than what my controller is set to. See, that was a nice little turn there. I was I was having trouble doing that yesterday. Let's look at this thing hovering here. See if I can get it hovering close to us. Come on, get back here. Stop drifting away. There we go. Look at that, guys. Blade 230S Smart. Look how sick this thing is. I love it. I think this is a this is a perfect size helicopter for sure. Okay, I'm getting used to it. Getting better with uh, turning around and stuff. Because usually when I was turning around, I was I was literally losing control. Okay, this is this is getting a lot better, guys. A lot better. A lot more comfortable with it. I'm telling you, moving up to a bigger helicopter was a lot more... Uh, it was a lot harder than I thought, for sure. Even with the stability mode, you know? It still, it still has a lot more power than the Nano S3. Because, obviously, it's just a bigger helicopter. And it's a little bit more... Makes it a little bit more uh, nervous to fly this thing. But, holy cow, is it fun. Like, I don't even want to, like, when I use my Nano S2 or my Nano S3 now, I'm literally just flipping around now, like, so easily. You can hear this thing has power, but I got it, I got it throttled way down. Yeah, it definitely needs some more uh, throttle and pitch curve adjustments, because uh, I'm not, i not exactly sure which ones I like, what settings I like yet. But yeah, that's like barely any throttle and it's so fast. I can't wait to try a flip with this thing. Look at that. Oh, and then it does that weird thing. I gotta, I don't know why it's doing that. If anybody knows why it's doing that, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I really gotta figure out what the heck's going on with that. It's like, all right, so throttle. It's when I'm stopping. Maybe it's doing that to like stabilize or something. It's when I stop moving forward. So I don't know, maybe it's supposed to do that to help like stop and stabilize. Maybe that's like the automatic like brake system or something. I am flying this thing way better though. Let's not hit the tree, please. All right, guys, there you have it. It's about to run out of battery. See, uh oh, let's bring it back over here to us. See if I can land it uh, and not hit my car, not hit anything. <laughs> Let's see if we can do this. Come on, nice clean landing. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Oh my God. Okay, I love my Nano S3, but this 230S Smart is amazing. <laughs> I love this helicopter. Got the throttle hold on here. So I do use that. Like I said in uh, my past video, uh, for this helicopter, throttle hold is bound to H. Well, I bind it to H. And then zero is the normal stability mode. And then you got stunt one, stunt two. But yeah, other than that, this helicopter is awesome. I do have to do a little bit of work to it. Um, I cut, like you can tell here that there's play. There's play here in the swash plate. Not that bad, but these are kind of loose too. I don't know, connecting arms. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see what what upgrade parts I'm gonna get for this. 
I was also thinking like a new canopy, uh, blades, like everything that matches. I, I kind of want to get rid of the orange. I don't, I don't mind the orange. I think it looks sweet, but I do want to get some upgrade parts here. I also did, ooh, my tail boom. This is a new tail boom, guys, and I have a dent in it. I didn't even notice that. Um, so these tail booms, and now it's bent a little bit, but I, I don't think that really affected my flying. I'll bend it back straight. But these tail booms that come with the 230S, it, like it's not, it, they're kind of garbage to be honest, guys. They're, it's like a really thin like metal, and inside here where you where you connect the the tail rotor wires, the the end of the uh, boom is like sharp, so it like it's starting to rip through the wire. So I had to I had to electrical tape the wires and protect them because of the end of the boom is like super sharp. I don't know why they would design it like that. But now I, I do think I'm going to upgrade to the carbon fiber uh, boom. I don't know. Maybe I should wait till I get a little bit better at flying. So just in case I ruin this one, it won't be as bad. But other than that, I just wanted to show you guys uh, flying around my 230 for the first time. And um, just learning how to move this thing, maneuver this guy around. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be getting some upgrade parts. I'll be doing reviews and uh, seeing how much better the swash plate uh, makes the handling. I still got to do my Nano S3. I will be getting around to that, but I've been having so much fun flying this around and uh, adjusting the servos. Like I said, I do have that one bad servo. It's not too bad, but it's a little clunky. Uh, I did order a new gear set. Maybe I'll wait to install it or I don't know. I might install it right away. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. There will be a lot more videos with both my helicopters. Um, I got to show you guys the flips I can do now with my uh, Nano S3. I'm getting, a lot, I'm getting even more comfortable with that, and I've actually upped the settings on that thing to make it go even faster, so that's super fun to fly. Eventually, I'll be getting there with this. I want to do some flips with this guy, but uh, I'll probably have to be like 100 feet in the air to, attempt to, <laughs> to do attempt to flip. It's gonna it's gonna be hard and it's gonna it's gonna be scary for sure because I don't want to crash this thing. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My Blade uh, 230s. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.